Welcome to Ag Yield's National Database. Growth Rates Feed Budgeting Pasture growth information is essential for farmers to strategically plan annual feed budgets and to forecast feed shortages and surpluses. Pasture growth is measured in kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day. In the database, growth rates are available for different regions and pasture species. They can be used as a guide for strategic farm planning. Here we will show you an example of how pasture growth rates can be filtered, extracted and then graphed to show growth rates over a year. Let's say we want pasture information from Northland. On the dashboard, select datasets from Northland. Here you could easily download all the pasture data from Northland and work with the data from many different datasets. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's use the farm field notes example from Waiatera. Click on the download icon and open the CSV file. There are many options to manipulate and graph the data. Here we will show you how to process the data using Excel. Spend some time to understand the data displayed here. Locate the growth rates and the dates. There are many ways to process the data further. One of the easiest is to save a copy of the CSV file as an Excel workbook. Then highlight the columns of interest and insert a pivot table on a new worksheet. The pivot table automatically averages the growth rate values and calculates the standard deviation. The standard deviation explains the variability within a data set. With these values you can build a graph with the month of the year on the x-axis and the growth rate values on the y-axis. Here a line graph was selected to display the monthly mean growth rates for the year. The upper line shows the mean growth rates plus the standard deviation and the lower line represents the mean growth rates minus the standard deviation. To calculate the standard error, which explains the variability across multiple samples of a population, simply divide the standard deviation value by the square root of the sample size.